Prime Minister Mohamed Roble has fired Somalia's security minister, provoking another conflict with President Mohamed Formaggio. Roble replaced Hassan Hundube Jamali with Abdullahi Mohamed Noor. Noor is a former finance minister, a sitting legislator, and a critic of the president. Formaggio has rejected the move, issuing a statement that says, The dismissal and appointment of members of the Council of Ministers will not take effect until there is a process in accordance with the country's provisional constitution. Earlier this week, Roble fired intelligence chief Fahad Yassin. Formaggio rejected that too, but he later accepted Yassin's resignation and then appointed him national security advisor. Both the President and Prime Minister have appointed their own acting head of the National Intelligence and Security Agency. Formaggio's was officially sworn in on Wednesday, but there are reports of rival factions facing off at NISA headquarters. Jabali took to Twitter to criticize Roble, saying he would not take the country to a better place. He claims that Roble told ministers that no one can be removed during this transition period. And he accused the prime minister of manufacturing a crisis. PM Roble, I do not know if the country will be protected from further violence because, unfortunately, he alone decided to put the country in a new crisis. Ironically, Jamali was appointed by Roble to the cabinet in October of last year causing some to jeer him online. First of all, who appointed you as a minister in the first place? Isn't it him and the Constitution? Abdi Rashid Warsami, a former diplomat and a respected government advisor, promotes Formaggio's argument that the Constitution is against the Prime Minister. Article 103 of the Somali Provisional Constitution on Caretaker Government Between the dates of a general election and the swearing-in of the new PM, the existing PM and Council of Ministers shall continue to serve in a caretaker capacity to carry out routine duties. Any activities carried out by the caretaker government outside the parameters provided in PC will be tantamount to deliberate attempt to destabilize the country and derail the election process. Others argue that administrative personnel moves, such as changing ministers, are routine duties and fit the Constitution's mandate. Robles' firing of Jamali is seen by many as an attempt to provoke Formaggio. Prominent Somali intellectual Abdurisak Aden worries the PM may be used by at least one of those contending for Formaggio's position. PM Robles' main task should be focusing on holding credible, fair elections. The PM needs to push back on ongoing efforts by deep state political brokers to transform the PM office as campaign HQ for HSM. That will undermine PM's legacy as a neutral, fair mediator. All eyes will be on NISA headquarters and the internal security ministry to see whose men really take charge. ADN-TV will continue to report on political and security developments in Somalia.